no weapon fashioned against your life that will ever prosper. The Bible says God is angry with the wicked every day. Who is that person that is after your life? Who is that person that is giving you sleepless nights? Each time you remember that person, your heart skips. Today I'm going to show you how to handle such people. Every evil I will fire into your life. Today we are going to do back to sender. All your enemies that are going to cry and beg for forgiveness after watching this video. Welcome once again to my channel. My name is Marvelous. In this channel, we show you the ways how you're going to live your life and be victorious. Spiritual remedies of things to use and your life will make meaning. We share the word of God and we pray to the glory of God. As you watch patiently, God keep you and preserve you in the name of Jesus. So today we're going to, we're going to deal on enemies of our life. Household enemies. They are everywhere around us. In the office, in our homes, in our business areas. There is that one person that will not give you peace. Every time they are bragging on what to do, how to kill you, how to destroy you. You are trying to make peace, no. They are doing everything to pull you down, wish you know. They are doing everything to attack you, wish you know. They are doing everything to subject you to, to a ridicule place, to frustrate your life. You have tried everything, still they cannot give you space. Today we are going to handle such people and put them in their place. The Bible says, suffer not the witch to live, the witch must die. The Bible says, God is angry against the wicked every day. That person that is giving you headache, God is angry with them. Those people that are jealous of your success and every day they are looking for any how they can eliminate your life. God is angry against the wicked every day. Before we carry out this assignment, please make sure that you on your own end, you don't have evil in your heart. If you are the one that have evil, not evil, you want to revenge, you want to do something to somebody bad, you want to pull somebody down, you're not happy with people's success, you're not happy with somebody's progress, things that make people to laugh, you don't like it, please don't listen to this video at all. Don't even go to practice anything because it will backfire to your head. This remedy I want to show you, if you want to use it to go and begin to do wickedness to somebody that is innocent, it won't work out. This remedy is for people that they know that somebody is attacking them. They know that somebody is not happy with them. They know that somebody is after their, their life. If you know that somebody is pursuing you, somebody is not happy with you, somebody is doing everything to bring you down, this video is for you. Please wait patiently and listen. In your office, there is somebody you know that is not happy with you, that is working against you to bring you down. In your family, you know somebody that is evil. That person is evil, is wicked. He's doing everything to destroy your family. If you are in this categories of people, please be patient enough to see what you're going to do. These people you see, they use natural things that God created to work against you. So today, you're going to use those that same natural things that God created to work against them. This is what you will do. Now, this is sand. This is sand. We are going to use sand to do back to sender. This is water. We are going to use water to do back to sender. This is pepper, ground pepper. We are going to use pepper to do back to sender. Your enemy must cry. They will look for you for forgiveness. They will retrace their step in that their evil journey. They are going to they will retrace their step and look for you for forgiveness. You're going to use water. Today is today. See what you will do. Whoever you know that is working tirelessly to bring you down, anyone you know, please on your own side, be, make sure you are innocent. Make sure that your hands are clean before you embark on this assignment. Make sure that your hands are clean. You're not against anybody. You're not working against anybody. You're not a troubled person. You're not evil. You're not wicked. Please don't do it. 
to any innocent person. You know that person that is evil. That person you know that is evil. That person you know that is evil. That is who you target this remedy to. Now, this is your prayer. Psalm 35 says, Fight against them, O God, and fight against me. Before you embark on this, on this, on this uh, assignment, get the word of God, the Bible. Read Psalm 35 from one to end. After you finish reading it, then you take up a sand. Sand is the natural thing that God created. Begin to pray your prayer like this. Whoever that is working against me, you that man, you that woman, that say that I will not make it in life, that say I will not go far, that say that things will not work for me, that is fighting for my downfall, unless you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not working on the sand. If you are truly working on the sand, if you are working on the sand, may you be buried in this sand in the next seven days. May this sand begin to work against you. As you march on the sand, may sand begin to work against you. May your life be miserable. May everything you do begin to work against you. May the air you breathe begin to work against you. Then when you finish work praying with the sand, you now take up the water. Unless the person doesn't drink water. Whoever that is saying that I will not make, that will not have peace in life. Whoever, whoever that is saying that I will not smile, that I will not rejoice, that say I will not make it in this life, unless you don't drink water. If you take water and you drink water, may that water destroy you. As you drink water, may water choke you. May water begin to work against you. May water begin to rise against you. May life be miserable to you. When you finish this prayer, then get a white paper. Now, this one is for that particular person you know. You know that this person, as in you know the person, that this person is evil. That this person is really working to build you down. That this person is really working to destroy your life. This person is really fighting you. You know, you are convinced, you know. You know very, very well. This is what you will do. Finish with Psalm 35 again. This one is a separate assignment. Hmm? Go and read Psalm 35 from 1 to the end. The Bible says, No weapon formed against my life that will ever prosper. That's the word of God. Then read Psalm 35 from A to Z. Write the person's name on a sheet of paper. You know the person's name. Write the person's name on a sheet of paper. Get a bottle of water like this. Get your pepper, this pepper. Pour the pepper inside the bottle of water. Pour the pepper inside the bottle of water. Hmm? Pour the pepper inside the bottle of water. Pour the pepper inside. Then, you. this is the person's name you have written. Fold the name. Fold the name like this. Fold it. Fold it. Then, put it inside the bottle of water with the pepper. Then you start shaking it. Hmm. Your name, your name will run mad. You need to shake it. Call the, you know the person's name. Call the person's name. Begin to shake it. Wherever you are, may your life be miserable. Wherever you are, call the person's name. You said I will not have peace. You said things will not work for me. You said that I will not get what I want. You said that I will not go far in life. You want to bring me down. You want to bring my family in shame. You do not work for you. In the name of Jesus, begin to receive fire. Begin to receive fire. Anywhere you are, your body becomes too hot for you. You will not have peace of mind. In the name of Jesus, you will not have peace. I take away your peace. Your body shall be miserable. Let fire begin to burn you. Let this pepper begin to work against you. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Begin to pass judgment. Begin to pass judgment. Begin to pass judgment. As you are praying this prayer, let me tell you, the spiritual controls the physical. That thing you're doing at that particular time, that person, wherever the person is, wherever the person is, the person will not have peace of mind. The person will look for you and ask for forgiveness. Whatever the person is doing against you, you will trace his step. Because that fire must touch that person. Your enemies, those evil people, this is what they do to put you in chains. This is what they do to frustrate your life. You as a child of God should be, should be wise. Using the natural thing that God created to frustrate your enemies. Must you wait for them to bring you down? 
Must you wait for them to waste you? Must you wait for them to kill you before your time? You want them to destroy your life? No! Destroy them before they destroy you. The Bible says, He that strive with me shall perish. Is the word of God. The word Bible says, God is against the wicked every day. So the enemy will not go free. Before they will bring you down, bring you down, bring them down first. That is why you're a child of God. But before you embark on this assignment, I say it again. Please make sure that you on your own side, you are innocent. You are free. Your mind is pure. You don't have anything evil. You don't do, you don't have any evil against anybody. Don't do this because of wickedness. Don't do it to innocent person. No. Don't do it because of jealousy or wickedness or evil or envy. It will not work for you. Do it if you know that you, if somebody is really want to bring you down. This assignment will work perfectly for you. As you embark on this journey, may God show you mercy. May God answer you in the name of Jesus. May God favor you in the name of Jesus. When you are done with this prayer, begin to thank God. Appreciate the King of Glory. You can do it at any time. But make sure you do it in a quiet place. Do it in a peaceful atmosphere where nobody will distract you. You need to concentrate. You need to be focused. You need to, your mind should be in what you're doing. This is a serious business. So do it in a solitary place. Maybe any hours of the morning. Or if you have the power or the strength, please, you can carry it out in the night. In short, night will be the best. That is when they are, they are busy planning evil. Then you are busy destroying their life. Hmm? Do it and you will see God showing forth in your life. Your enemy must confess and die. Your enemy must leave you alone. That power fighting you, that person that is saying no to your joy, they must leave you by fire, by thunder. In the name of Jesus, heaven will help you. You will be successful. In the name of Jesus, whatever you have lost in the hand of the enemy, by the power of the Most High God, you are recovering them by fire, by thunder. In the name of Jesus, this month of August will shine for you. Month of August will give you peace. Month of August will give you restoration. Everything you have lost in the past month, in this month you are collecting everything in double folds. In the name of Jesus, above all, if you have not given your life to Jesus, please do so. Life outside Christ is a waste of time. Anything you are doing, you don't have Jesus in you. Why are you living? You don't call the name of a God you don't know. You call the name of God that you know, and he will answer you. The Bible says, he that believe shall come unto God. If you believe God, you come to him. Serve him in righteousness, in holiness. Surrender your life to Jesus. Let Jesus be the owner and the helper of your life. For you to go far in life, you need the lordship of Jesus into your life. Without Jesus, you are not going anywhere. Bible says he is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the only way, no other way. So I, I advise you today, please make up your mind. In the, world that, in the world that we are in today, we need Jesus. He is the light. He will give you light. In that darkness, he will give you light. In your confused state, he will give you direction. He will help you and you will succeed in the name of Jesus. If you love this video, please do well to hit the like button. Hmm? Please share this video. Propagate the gospel of Christ. Share this video to people that need to know. They need to know the truth. Souls need to be delivered. Then, you can put your comments to the glory of God. Hmm? Subscribe. If not subscribe, please always press the notification bell beside the subscribe button so that each time I upload a video, you get notified. I upload video every week. As you do so, God keep blessing you. I want to appreciate all you, my returning subscribers. God will keep keeping you. I pray for you every day. You will succeed. You will break forth on every side. Life will fall in places for you. Yes, as you follow me on this channel, you will never lack anything good. The sun over your life will speak favor. Anywhere you go, doors will keep opening for you. You will never go down in life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. God bless you. You know what? I love you.